Hello friends, Wayne Sherry here. This is one of the greatest features of ClickFunnels, so we're gonna jump right into it. I love it because it saves you money. This is the uh, automated webinars feature. I'm gonna show you how to do that here real quick. And you'll see just how fast the funnel is, is set up. Of course, you have to do um, your editing of your content and whatever. And maybe you want to move some things around and change some colors and stuff like that. But uh, otherwise, this is very, very simple. And if you're familiar with automated webinar software, you know that the software costs anywhere from $300 to $2,000. So this is included with the ClickFunnels, which is having, if you're still, if the clock below this video is still not at zero yet, that means you're still in the free, uh, Two week free trial period so you can grab it and, and try it for free um, right now and honestly i don't know why you wouldn't um, so let's get going i'm going to make a, a funnel for a real product uh, right now and it's going to be an automated webinar i'm going to be replacing an old automated webinar with a new one so i want the automated webinar so i click that funnel i'm going to click create funnel and then I'm going to enter a name, which I already know what that is, and I need to put in a tag so I can keep it grouped. If I make any other pages or uh, funnels under this, I can uh, put them in the same place. So I always use the group tags so I can group things together. Now, remember, right now you get your two-week trial for free if that timer is not at zero. So I would take a look down there right now and, and click that if, uh, if you can. You can come back on here on this page any anytime. So now we're going to just select a template. So I kind of liked this template right here. I've already looked at these templates. Now notice you can preview or select. Um, the first time you come in here, you may want to preview first so you know what you're picking. But remember, you can change anything on these templates to any way you want at any time. So. Um, yeah, it's best to pick the template that's closest to what you want, but don't don't get all upset if you pick the wrong template or you decide later you pick the wrong template because you can change it very, very easily. You're going to see that. You just saw that I, all four of these pages were made in a matter of seconds, so I had the entire uh, webinar funnel set up in seconds. And and then I'll, now I'm just picking the, uh, the templates, so... I don't want a video on my countdown, although I can add that later if I decide I want that. So we'll just click for that template. All right, and there we go. And then the broadcast room. Let's see what broadcast. I want one with both comments and uh, a button to appear. So neither one of these has that, but I can add that in. So I'm gonna select uh, this template right here for the room and, and do that. I'll add that button in later. I'll show you how that works. And the webinar replay room, there's only one choice here right now for that. I'm sure there'll be more later, but you can still make it look any way you want. So don't worry about that. Okay, it's almost done. Now we have the now we have all the rooms set with their templates. So we're ready to go back and do I'm not gonna do a bunch of editing here, but what I'm gonna do is show you how to set make sure uh, the template will set the dates for um, for your visitors because some of them it, it's not maybe instantly there so on this particular template it uses the pop-up window you, you can see that and click that button it opens up the editor and it's set to open the pop-up so when it says open the pop-up it's talking about right down here in the corner it says show pop-up all right so let's click that it doesn't have date and time on here, so I need to add that in here so that it'll do. Um, I'm going to put that in. I can change the, the way that looks. I need the webinar time, so let's add that in there. So now it will do automated times for me, okay? Now let's go ahead and set, um, set it so it looks the same as the other ones. That's the uh, big, I believe. Let's see, it's on small large yeah that's the one we want it to have a little space between it so that's what this is margin top let's it's close we can look at the settings in the other one to make it exactly the same but right now just I'm gonna eyeball it click I double clicked in here but the other way you could do that is uh, click that little edit button right so 
we got to change that to uh, large and um, we can change other styling in here you can play with that if you want uh, but I got to change this it was 19 on the other one so we want it about the same so it looks pretty even and there we go so now that's set now I would also need to do my um, my email settings and all that that's the same for all all of these things uh, so this is good we have the page set so now the, the page will create uh, let me go ahead and close that and save that just so I don't lose anything all right now let's say uh, there's only one presenter here so let me, uh, I would I want to get rid I want to make uh, not that part but I want to make this part actually Let's, let's do it this way. I want to make this little element uh, invisible. So let's go to elements and let's go to speaker to element and let's turn it off with a little eyeball, right? Now it's gone. There's only one of me, right? So let's go in here. I want to put my picture on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, that's easy enough to do. So I know where my picture is. If I want to put it in there, I click this plus sign next to image URL and I'm going to drag it in here and upload it. So it's doing the little upload thing right now. And as soon as it's done, you're going to see the picture is going to pop into place. That's the only one there. Click add image and there I am. So now I just need to, I just double clicked here and well, I can put my name there. So I'm just going to do this little bit of editing right now. Uh, I'll do. I'll do other later. You need. You don't need to watch me uh, type. But right now, we'll get this done, and uh, and there we go. So you see how easy it was to change that. Now I can. I can. Just like I turned off this element, I can go in the elements and turn off any that I don't want. I can even delete them completely. I can click on these little buttons and add new elements, add new elements inside of an element of the um, section. That's not a section. I guess that is a section. So there's a, sections are in green. Um, elements, columns. It, actually, columns are in blue. That's that's a column. So that would be the column editor I could turn that off I want to turn the column off I could go in here find the one that I'm looking at turn it off turn it back on okay so that's easy enough to do same thing for all of them okay so we don't need to belabor that so now this page other than editing it and let's show you how to put the video in okay that's very simple I just clicked on this it opened up the editor right here you drop your embed code for YouTube Vimeo whatever Wistia uh, easy video suite whatever it may be you just drop it right in here and then it'll it'll show up in that window okay okay so that's it on this page other than an editing that's done it, it will now work as a uh, as a funnel page so let's go ahead and exit that then we'll take a look at the other ones. We really don't have to do much to the other ones, right? The webinar countdown. This is all about styling on this page um, because all the settings were on the other page. Um, th this will show up automatically correctly based on whatever the person selects um, when they do the other ones. You just literally you just edit the page, so nothing else to show you here. Um, whatever you want it to say. Right now, I save it and uh, exit it and go back to the, um, the user interface. And uh, you, you would do the same thing with the re broadcast room and the replay room. I mean, there, there's nothing really to show you there. Um, the emails, well, this comes with an email series. It's right here. So it's already set. You just need to have your email settings in the, um, in the settings in your account. So if you up here and you go into your settings, you have it there, then you can you would have your settings. If you want to do this on a um, on its own special um, on your own um, uh, domain, then all you would do is when you have it open, you go into the custom settings, and you would just change the domain name. It's taking its time loading right now, but it'll be done in a second. But you can set it to any domain name you choose on um, your custom domains. And then it, then it can sh show up on the domain you want. So I go into settings, 
up here, custom domains. I have a several set. I'm not using any of these for this particular one, but if I wanted to, I would just select the one I wanted, okay? Easy enough to do. Back, um, so we can go back into that. Very simple. Okay, the, the webinar is done. It was done in less than 10 minutes. It was done in about eight minutes. I will have to come back and edit it. I might change some colors here and there. Maybe I'll change the background image. Um, I haven't decided on that yet, uh, but but I will. But the funnel is complete. It will actually work. Uh, let, let me do. Let me just show you that right now. Let's um, go ahead and get that to go back to the user interface, and uh, it's set there. Let's grab that. Uh, let's grab that. URL, okay, paste it, and uh, went, and there it is. So what happens? I click to register my spot, and um, the pop-up pops up. So it shows uh, today's date, but they're given a choice of three dates. So let's just say I pick um, that, and and it has two times right there, okay? So it's going to show it in their local time, and uh, so let's just pick that. And let, let me just go ahead and put my own... Oops, that's not right. All right, there it is. Click it, and it's going to take me now to that second page automatically. And you see, those times are already um, the times are already set there. The date is set there, so it does that automatically. All right, very simple. That's it. That's the funnel. Now the two-week trial, if the, if the timer isn't on zero yet, then you can go ahead and click the, click the button and claim the trial. Otherwise, it's going to take you to the page, the sign-up page, and um, then you can create your account um, and, and get started. There, um, but if you're in the two-week trial, I recommend you do that because that's free. No obligation, no risk to you. You'll see how all this works. You'll see how simple it is, and you'll realize that Yes, I even have a shopping cart set to this that's included here, so uh, I can do that. And let, let me show you one more thing I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you how to set um, the delay uh, button, okay? So let's go into here, into the web broadcast room, and let's set the delay button. So there, there, you see there's no... Um, I want to put a, an element of, um, below this, okay? So let's put in a, a one-column block. And then inside of that, I click it, and I'm going to put in a um, button. Where's the button? Okay, there it is. Add to page. Now, I can style this button, make it say anything I want, whatever. But the important part here is how do you make it delay? Uh, I know in this particular webinar, it has about, it, it happens at about uh, 47 minutes or something like that. So, uh, there's, I go here and, and type in convert seconds to milliseconds, and I put in uh, uh, 47 minutes actually I don't know what that is um, let's make it easy 50 minutes that's three three um, 50 minutes is 3,000 seconds so that's um, three th that's that many milli milliseconds however many that is <laughs> so we go in there we change the milliseconds to that we want animation I want it to uh, on page load to start counting and I want it to let's say I want it to come in from the left okay so now the counter is set so at um, 50 minutes into the webinar the uh, the the download button will appear so then I would I would also set this to have a, um, a URL to go to my uh, buy page okay and, and I could set the buy page into the funnel today the sales funnels are not active so I cannot add a, um, a purchase page but um, later on I can at any time I can add the all right, so that's it for the funnel. Now you know how to do um, all the essential steps.